Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2020 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last half of June and this reading is for <clears throat> the air sign of Libra. I just wanted to check and make sure. This is for the air sign of Libra for the last half of June. So welcome everyone. I hope you are all staying safe and well and sane with, you know, everything, all of the challenges we've been facing lately, not only the virus, the fear, the anxiety, the stress, politics, uh, protests, all of that that's going on. I hope that each of you are able to or try to make time every day to do at least something that's uh, pleasurable and distracting for you to kind of keep our mental health and, and sanity uh, somewhat stable. And I hope that everyone is being kind, as kind as possible these days, because it is greatly needed. Thank you also for everything that you have done and continue to do in support of this channel. Like, share, subscribe, donations, or just taking the time to tune in today. Thank you. So <clears throat> this reading is for the air sign of Libra for the last two weeks of June. Libra sun, moon, rising. If your Venus is in Libra, if you're cross-watching for a Libra, and general readings, of course, always resonate and mean a little something different to everybody who watches. So if you know all your signs, watch them. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. It can bring in little bits of additional clarification information to kind of help you navigate through this short period of time. So if any of the readings do resonate, you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, information about that, take a deeper look at something, just click on the description link below, click on that little arrow that pulls down info and contact details. You'll see my email address there, maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I can usually respond with more info within the same day or the first 24 hours. And scheduling is pretty good too. I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent at working with your schedule in mind to get readings set up for you as quickly as possible. So email me if you'd like. I'd be happy to hear from you. All right, <clears throat> Libra. Let's see what the last half of June has in store for you. I am using Legacy of the Divine Tarot. Okay, Libra, we begin with the Nine of Cups, followed by the Wheel. Awesome. We have the Sun, followed by the Hermit. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy guidance focus for the last half of June is the Fool. Excellent, absolutely excellent energy. Four major arcana cards out of five, so a particularly profound time for you because it's major arcana energies. Um, although I feel like it's not so much in what's happening during this time, but how you feel about something that has happened. Uh, have my my air conditioning on because it's too hot not to so uh, there's some background noise hopefully it's not too much um, so Libra it looks like you're starting off on a brand new journey because your overall energy and focus for the last half of June is the fool the fool is the first major arcana card in the tarot he has the zero down here at his card and the Fool is where the entire journey starts. The Fool is us. It's our journey through life. Learning, changing, growing, and evolving. The very first card in the tarot. The very first major arcana card. So it's starting off on a brand new journey. It could be doing something you've never done before. Stepping off the beaten path. Because the Fool is a trailblazer. He doesn't walk paths which have already, he's already walked on. This is about taking a leap of faith. Uh, something a little risky maybe. Or something you feel is a little risky because it's the unknown. Uh, the advice attached to the Fool is often forget the unknown, forget everything that you know, and step into the unknown. So it's starting off a brand new journey. We have the Nine of Coins with the Wheel. The Nine of Coins, this suit is also known as Pentacles in other decks, it's Earth Energy. 
So it's often about the physical structure of our life, the day-to-day -day physical structure of our life, solidity, stability, the things that make us feel safe and secure, the efforts we put into acquiring those things, the physical self. The Nine of Coins is a card about independence, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, enjoying the place that you're at because you've worked so hard to get there, financially, materially, emotionally. This is somebody who loves who they are, what they have because they've worked really hard for what they have and they're enjoying every bit of that where they're going it's a beautiful empowered card what accompanies it is the wheel in the upright position a stroke of good luck of good fortune money perhaps coming in divine timing and orchestration working in a way that that's visibly for you i mean even the wheel in reverse is 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 good you know spirits are always working towards our betterment and fulfillment whether it feels like that or not but this looks like something has happened something is happening something has just happened some of you it may be an actual financial material resources which have come in which enable you to start off on a brand new path a brand new journey Perhaps it even gives you the financial and material resources in order to feel independent and empowered, uh, perhaps in a way that allows you to, what looks here towards the end of the month, take some time off. Um, this could be, you know, getting enough money to be financially stable enough to take time off, to go on a vacation, to retire, to relax a bit. I mean, it's going to mean different things for different people in the general reading because there's so many of you watching. Um, coming into perhaps unexpectedly a sum of money that allows you to feel independent because this is a card of being able to rely on yourself and not needing other people's help or support. So you're starting off brand new and fresh. This could be uh, being in a financial or m financial material, emotional, it could be a combination of all those things, place where perhaps you have just disengaged from a job, a workplace, a career path. It, it could even be a relationship. Although I would think with a relationship there would be maybe some more energy or some more cards around, you know, some sadness or poignancy, and I'm not getting any of that. So for a lot of you, this is likely in a different area of your life, something that falls under the umbrella of your physical structure, work, career, finances. It feels like you're in a place where you're able to take some time off. And again, the details and specifics of that may vary. This could be... Uh, finally being in a place to to leave your job and start your own business or go into your own business um, you know having your own time and space this could be you know you know retiring successfully um, it could be getting a job or being set on a career path or getting a job that finally allows you um, financial and material freedom to have this sense of independence and confidence and assurance on your own because you're starting off on a brand new journey it might even be a literal journey maybe again some of you it might be coming into a sum of money maybe you won a sum of money we're given a sum of money or you know won it in the lottery or a scratcher or something like that and it is enough to make you feel independent empowered not having to rely on anybody else but it gives you a it feels like it gives you a space and time to relax or relax maybe before the brand new journey because at or towards the end of the month we have the sun and the hermit the sun is illumination light love warmth laughter fun vacations uh, an uplifting of energy a loosening up of previously restrictive energies sickness into health uh, poverty into financial stability you know it's lovely beautiful energy and it represents an uplifting of energy like heavy or negative or challenging or restrictive energies are loosened or even sometimes completely lifted because the Sun card the energy of the Sun card just like the actual Sun when the actual Sun comes out it shines over everything it affects everything it illuminates everything and therefore 
the positive effect that the Sun card has in the tarot when it comes out in a spread, it has the ability to give an extra boost to all the surrounding positive cards, and all your cards are pretty much positive. And for any challenging energy cards that come out, it has the ability to kind of lessen that as well. Um, so it's, it's just absolutely beautiful energy. It's like, I'm getting the sense of finally. So you've been through something maybe difficult or challenging or just a lot of hard work on a path and something has come in. I mean, the wheel, God's spirit, your angels and guides has brought something to come in and now you're in this place of, wow, I have enough and I can take care of myself and I'm good where I'm at and I'm starting off on a brand new thing. And either you're going off on a journey or going on vacation or you have a breathing space where you can relax for a bit. Now what accompanies the sun is the hermit which is a card of retreat, withdrawal, rest, recuperation, gaining wisdom, clarity, insight. It feels like it's going off on your own to think about things and think over things, but it's a really lovely energy. It's like, you know, kind of maybe going on a vacation on your own or um, just kind of taking a step back to contemplate the place that you're at and uh, the work that's gone into getting there and I almost get the sense that, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm really here. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. It's really quite lovely. We can clarify a few of these, although I, I'm almost tempted to leave it here, but let's clarify. Let's clarify the Fool. The start of a new journey. Six of Wands, victory and triumph after a struggle, a challenge, a battle, a long body of work. This is a card of winning a pretty significant victory, um, accomplishments, but also having that be recognized visibly. So it can represent, I mean, maybe you won some money or you won a contest or this can also in career be a card of raises, bonuses, promotions. A combination of all of those things because this is a card of having your efforts and your achievements your struggle and your fight and your victory and success recognized as well so some of you you know under the umbrella of career and work or business this could be you know that you've had a major success a major win um, it's being seen and, and recognized and accomplished you know maybe you've gotten a raise a bonus a promotion and uh, you know you're and it, and it, on a financial and material level, um, it's really great and positive, and it puts you in the space of, you know, being able to maybe take some time off. Maybe you're getting a, a promotion or a bonus, and you're taking a vacation before you start your new job, or something of that sort. Um, really, quite lovely energy. Let's clarify the hermit. I mean, the sun and the hermit. I mean, this looks like kind of going off on yourself and relaxing and enjoying life a little bit kind of thinking over things, you know, kind of, you know, taking some time off, going on retreat, vacation, getting away, and, and during that time you're kind of enjoying yourself and relaxing, but you're also kind of looking, enjoying where you're at, celebrating, and looking back over, like, your journey and your path. The High Priestess. And the Four of Wands. Well, that pretty much sums it up. The High Priestess, you have the Hermit and the High Priestess. These are both energies of taking a step back, maybe retreating again, going away, uh, possibly by yourself. These are both energies of individuals who take a step back um, in a quiet, contemplative sort of way. They keep their own counsel in order to kind of reflect and gain wisdom and, and meditate and all of that kind of stuff. And the Four of Wands is celebration, happy homes, the 1111 card, unexpected blessings and happy surprises, which, you know, the Wheel of Fortune in the Upright certainly is. So I'm not sure, I mean, it's a general reading. There's a lot of you watching. So what this is exactly is going to vary, but it's beautiful and it's positive. And it's a little bit like your sister sign, Gemini, and possibly Aquarius as well. New beginnings, success, and success maybe in a very unexpected, you know, sort of wheel of fortune way. You spin the wheel, you have no, no control over where it lands, but it's landed on something really quite nice for you. And you're like, wow. 
and you're taking some time off to rest, to recuperate and celebrate and look back over your path and it's just really, really spectacular energy. Kind of makes me wish I was a Libra, but I'm not. Uh, but I certainly hope that whoever this, uh, whoever watches this video, this reading, I hope that this resonates for, you know, for everyone that watches it in some way. So Libra, that is your reading for the last half of June. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a pretty great one. Uh, again, if any of these readings do resonate with you, you want to reach out for a personal reading, just click on the description link below. Feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the July 2020 general readings. Until then, stay safe, stay well, much blessings and love, stay kind, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.